What's going on, dickweeds? Supper, eh? Fucking right. Got some kind of salad over here. Got some of Donna's famous scallop potatoes over there. Some skinless, boneless chicken that Donna made with a new recipe today. I see there's some peas and mushrooms in it. And some kind of sauce. I don't know what you call that sauce. What do you call that sauce, Donna? And there's some bread and butter pickles. Is that what those are called? Bread and butter pickles? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and yeah. That's supper. Wash that down with a cold Molson Canadian. What beer's all a boot? Eh? Donna's got the same shit over there. She's drinking apple juice. 100% pure apple juice. The good kind, not the fucking cheap kind. Hey, Donna? Yeah. Hey, hi, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh. I got a bong toke loaded up right there. That is rock tuna from Kootenai Botanicals. It's really fucking good and it gives you the munchies and yeah, eh? Anyway, I'm gonna stick you cocksuckers on the counter. Donna, yeah. I can see your coochie under the table. There's flies flying around it. <laughs> do you feel like you're in the middle? No. Perfect. I need you to do something on your way back. What? Grab the apple juice. Grab the apple juice. Yeah. Do you need me to grab anything else? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Here's your apple juice. There's no cock room here. You gotta kind of move slow to get into your seat. You can end up with a cock sliver from the table leg, eh? Those aren't fun. Ah, uh, yeah. So we got a new uh, recipe here. A chicken recipe that Donna found. Mm -hmm. We've never tried it. Smells okay. Smells like it came from a Chinese restaurant, eh? It does. Did you smell it up close? It smells like it came from a Chinese restaurant. No, it is. Probably because you cooked it with peas and stuff. Isn't that what they use? Peas and shit with their chicken? Mm -hmm. I think so. Cocksuckers. Peas on everything. <laughs> Some zesty Italian. It's really zesty, eh? Fucking right. Got some Frank's hot sauce in case Donna's chicken didn't turn out. <laughs> we'll burn the flavors out of it. Drum. Bite your tongue? My lip. <laughs> you bit your lip? Yeah. She got the munchies so bad she's eating her own face. No. Hey. Eh? Uh. 
It's Tuesday. We're smoking rock tuna from Kootenai Botanicals. I think I said that. Edibles. Donna wanted to talk about the edibles that she ate last night. Her brownies. She ate three last night and they really fucked her up. She's on two of them right now. <laughs> go ahead, Donna. I'm going to get in a bong toke and you go ahead and tell them whatever you want to tell them about your edibles or whatever. Okay, you're... I can say this. She can say this. I took one, I ate one, and then about maybe 15 or 20 minutes later, I ate another brownie. And then, as I, you know, was just starting to slowly feel it, right, like it came in real slowly, um, I was like, oh, well, maybe I should eat another brownie. brownie. So, <laughs> but by the time I was done eating that third brownie, the first two fucking started to kick in and I didn't need any more. And then I was so fucking tired. Like, it was so hard to keep my eyes open. And even, like, after I got up, I was still tired. <laughs> after yesterday's video, if you watched all the way to the end, she passed out on the couch. And I wasn't able to wake her up until... <laughs> Almost 11 o'clock last night, 10 or 11? Something. Uh, maybe about 10. And then we, w and then we <laughs> were in bed at, at 10 after 11. And I think we finished yesterday's video around 3 or 4. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she, uh, she got fucked up, eh? There, um, uh, there's a site that, uh, online you fill in like how much how much weed you used like in grams and uh like the percentage like the total like the thc percentage and how many how many um how many milliliters no not milliliters milligrams milligrams yeah and then you fill in like so i made nine brownies yesterday out of my tray so it calculates for you. So it's so it, it's telling me that the brownie one square works out to 105 milligrams of THC. So that would explain why I was so tired because I would have <laughs> had over 300 milligrams, which is a lot. Like the two, the second brownie that I had, I waited a bit, but like I know that I don't need any more brownie at all because this is. Um, this is, you know, uh, this is all right. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess, like, I would have to, if, like, I knew somebody that wanted one, <laughs> 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 but they couldn't have a hundred. I'd have to get on there and do some different type of math. <laughs> like, you know, instead of nine, it would maybe make like, mm, I don't know, 12, 12 or 24, like somewhere in between 12 and 24. <laughs> sure. So that's not that high of a dose. Okay. We were also talking earlier about Christmas, Christmas decorations and setting up the tree. When is the right time to do it? I know a lot of people wait till after Remembrance Day. Yeah. But after Remembrance Day, do you wait another day? Do you wait two days? Do you wait a week? And, and do you set it up right the very next day? I don't worry. I am like in the States, right? Because they don't have a Remembrance Day. Well, they have something else. I don't know, but... Isn't it Memorial Day or something? No. Is it? No. I don't know. I don't they, remember. But they have their Thanksgiving, right? So th then I know... You always know after Thanksgiving because it's already getting close to Christmas, but they start decorating. But when is the right time to decorate? Yeah. 
because we want to put up our stuff, but... I really, I, I don't want to yet. I do. <laughs> I think this room needs some more lights. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you guys think. Should we decorate the day after Remembrance Day? Should we wait that's, a couple weeks? That's uh, November 11th for those of you that are not from Canada. Tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. There you go. Should we? So yeah, tomorrow's what? Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Should we decorate on Thursday? Or should we wait a little longer? Leave a comment down below and let us know what you guys are doing. Just out of curiosity, we just, we usually just set it up whenever by the end of November, but I want to set it up as soon as possible and Donna wants to wait. Let us know what you guys are doing and yeah. Uh, I wrote down wasted beer. Mm -hmm. The reason I wrote that down is because Donna got up last night and I gave her two of my beers. I'm down to four beers mm -hmm. when she got up. So I gave her two and I had two left. And she drank one mm -hmm. and I drank one. Then we're down to the last ones. And I drank my last beer and she opened hers up. She took a sip and she says, Oh, I can't drink this. And she dumps it down the fucking sink. A tall boy. Fuck! Hey, eh? Who does that? You shouldn't have took it. I would have drank it. I had no room. Then why did you open it? Because I thought there would be some. She dumped the fucking thing down the sink. I could have died. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And the only other thing I had written down is Donald was telling me something earlier. Well, not really telling me something. Well, kind of. She came home and she said, I hate when I'm walking into fucking places and people stop suddenly. And I was kind of curious why that bothered her so much. I was thinking, well, maybe people stop suddenly and because she's so short, she, you know, gets the butt in the face. Why does it bother you so much, Don? I figured I'd ask you while everybody was watching. Why do sudden stops piss you off? Is it your height? <laughs> because... They're holding up the fucking line. They stop right when they walk in those second fucking sliding doors. Right there. Knowing that people have to fucking... They're, they're blocking the whole fucking road fucking way. They're in the fucking way. And they're always doing the same fucking thing. They got their fucking list out. Go ahead. Right there. They just... They, and I don't like it because I know what I'm going to get in the store, and now I'm now I have to stop and wait beside. Be, and then what happens, right? Does it happen today? I was like, "Fuck this, this fucking." Oh my fuck! Hey, the chicken tastes really good, but it's missing something. Okay. What's so, up? No. So um, so then, right? I was like, "Are you listening?" I'm listening. So she stops and she does that fucking thing, right? And I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I can't fucking wait any longer. I'm going around her. I don't fucking care what she has to do. If she says something, I'm like, fuck this. So anyways, I went around her, right? And then and then they always do this. They always give you the, the stink eye. They always are looking over. Oh my fuck. Hey. Tastes really good with the hot sauce. <laughs> goes perfect with the hot sauce. Um, and then they look at you like you're a piece of shit, like you had no right to, you're fucking holding up the line, you're in the fucking way. Like, they just go somewhere else. Move the fuck out of the way. Don't stand right fucking there. Yeah, get the fuck out of the way. It just, you, oh. That's a walkway. It's not there for looking at shit you got in your fucking pockets. Is that what they're doing? Their list. That's always their list. Yeah, fuck your list. You should know it's on the beginning of your list. You wrote it. I know what my list says. 
Yeah, so, so it says Cool Ranch Doritos at the very top. So if I was to go shopping tomorrow, I'd hit, I'd head to the fucking chip section right away. Oh, hey, but see it? Because you know what you're Actually, doing. I wouldn't. If you're knowing what you're going to get, right? Donna, Donna has us trained, so when we go shopping, we have to walk down every aisle and look. Because you never know. It might be a sale. Hey, okay. want something good. That's so you got to walk all the way down every aisle, and then you got to think to yourself, well, okay, I'm going to go all the way back to aisle three, walk up that one four more times. Why? I don't know. You tell me why we do that. <laughs> <laughs> we always pass shit and have to go back. Because sometimes I, I... Oh, I forgot to get this. Here we go all the way back to the beginning of the fucking store to start over again. It happens all the time. Thought we were done, we're starting again. Everybody was fucking slow like that. I went, I had to go to, I went to Food Basics and I was like slow fucking there, like just slow. Everybody was in slow mode. Then I had to go to Independent because I had, they didn't have the thing at Food Basics and it was slow fucking there, and then I had to go... Slow to, everywhere! Everywhere. The gas station was slow. The, the traffic was slow. Yeah. Slow. It was slow, and people were crabby. Like, they were just like... People know, are crabby. Like, the proper people were out today. Yeah. Proper people were out today. What are proper people? I don't know. <laughs> You're the ones that wear the... The turtlenecks. Oh, those kind. <laughs> hey, you want to hear a funny story? When I met Donna, she wore a turtleneck every day. And she don't even really have a neck. <laughs> Not every day. Almost. She had different colored turtlenecks. She wore them all throughout the week. With no neck. <laughs> no neck McGurk over here wore turtlenecks when I met her. <laughs> I'm talking about the adults. You're an adult. I don't wear turtlenecks. Maybe not now, but you did. When I was a kid. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a turtleneck. <laughs> I am my life. I don't think I've ever wore a turtleneck. Thank fuck. <laughs> no, never? I don't think so. I don't think I'd want to either. That's <laughs> fuck. Why? I don't know. It just, it looks fucked to me. Well, it's not. I think it is. is it? Leave a comment down below and let me know if you're a turtleneck wearer. Do they even sell those fucking things anymore? I don't know. I don't know either. I've never seen turtlenecks for sale. They probably do. Probably like Mark's. Is there like a turtleneck store or something? No, probably Mark's uh, would sell them. And like the... Uh, well, we, when we went to Mark's, I was looking at the shirts. I was no fucking turtlenecks. You probably weren't looking for them, so you didn't even know us some. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment down below and let us know if people... Well, not people, but stores still sell turtlenecks. I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. There's something wrong with it. What's <laughs> wrong? Why are you gonna do that? <laughs> what? Drink my beer? Fart! I didn't. That was you, Donna. You want to hear about farting? Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> it's all I heard last night. Those animals, they really let Donna cut loose. <laughs> the fuck kind of fart is that? Her farts make two sounds.
How the fuck you ask me two sounds, Donna? <laughs> One fart, two sounds. What the fuck? I think our arsehole's broken. No. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wondering, I'm just going to fill my bowl back up. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, what do you want to talk about, Donna? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, Ed, but it's, uh, you know. <laughs> I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> You know? No, I don't. <laughs> I can't think of the word, but it's like something. It's like something. Huh. <clears throat> if you food over there, Jizz. You guys might hear some noise behind the camera. That's just the Jizz. The Jizz doing Jizz things. Yeah. <laughs> So you don't talk about Donna? Um, I don't know. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. Bring up something and we'll talk. Bring up something and we'll talk. Yeah. Oh, Anything. Bring up. Anything. Sorry about the boring video, but uh... We know what to talk about today. Uh, we were first gonna do the video with uh, what do we do? I don't remember. We were just gonna start a video, but that didn't happen. And then Donna made some bacon sandwiches for us, and we were gonna start a video and eat bacon sandwiches, but we ended up eating the bacon sandwiches and not starting the video. Mm -hmm. And while we're eating the bacon sandwiches, she was whipping up all this food, so we figured, fuck it! Let's just record at supper time, eh? And, yeah, so here we are. Might be a little bit boring to you guys, but nothing really happened around here today. Lots of cooking. What's yeah. wrong, Nana? Nothing? I'm just listening to you talk? Here's a story. Uh, a story about what? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you want. Um, I don't know. Let me think for a second. She's just gonna think for a second. Hey. That's a long second. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, no. She doesn't know. Huh Remember um the other day me and you were chatting? Chat every day, Don. It's gonna be a little more. Uh, we're ta you're telling. We're talking about if if you if you you ask me <laughs> if uh, I remembered like when I got my you know when you first rode a bike or had a training wheels. Remember this? Yeah. And you told me the story that 
how your story went. Yeah. But I never told you mine. You didn't. You only want me to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but we ended up talking about something else, but I forgot to tell you. Okay, I'm going to tell you this story about, did I tell, I don't think I ever told you this before. So my fucking training wheels came off, but I remember this like perfect. There's going to be a training wheels story. <laughs> so my training wheels came off and I had, you know. So this had to be the early 80s? Yeah, and okay. uh, it was summertime. It was like, well, it was, not, it was more like um, spring because the ground was still hard, but there was no snow. Like it was like, remember when it used to be like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I had one of those bikes with the big, you know, with the banana seat and the, the curly bars. Had the same kind. So. Probably different color though, eh? Um. <laughs> what color was your bike? Red. Mine was blue. A red bike. With Even the, had the frills on the mine on have, the handles. Mine had the frills too. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> my my parents are Canadian outside. Tire. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> my parents are outside, and you know they're you know they're trying to get you know teach you how to fucking ride. Okay, without the <coughs> with what without the wheels. Okay, so my dad tried a couple times. But I kept on falling on the, in the grass and stuff like that. Like, I just kept on tipping over. Okay, are you listening? Mm -hmm. And then my dad went inside. He kind of gave up on me. <laughs> and so my mom was out there with me, but there was neighbors outside now. Like, it was going into the afternoon, okay? And my mom didn't, she didn't like, like, um... I don't know, she kind of wanted us to be like all perfect and shit like that, but <laughs> I wasn't getting this fucking riding without the training wheels thing, okay? So, she got, she took the bike from me, okay? And she gets on the, she, she got on my bike and she's just like, you know, giving me shit like, what's so hard about getting on and just steer, steer, like fucking steer, okay? <laughs> She's like, you know, just stop going like this or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, okay, so then I have my my elbow pads and my knee pads. <laughs> okay, so here we go down the at the driveway. And she gives me a push and she's like, pedals on, right? I pedaling and I fucking end up hitting the tree in the front yard. Okay. Uh huh. So, so she comes over. She takes my bike. She starts. Eddie, she shook that fucking bike so hard, my fucking frills were just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what's wrong? I'll be looking for the Donna's mom's as tall as she is, so it's kind of funny to laugh at if you <laughs> knew her mom and you can picture it in your head. And I started fucking crying on the lawn, right? Because I started crying, and the neighbors are trying to on the floor, which is. <laughs> yeah, we, so it took like a couple tries before I got to learn how to drive without the training wheels, but I remember my fucking, I'm telling you, those frills shook. <laughs> when I learned how to drive a two-wheeler, I lived in Hanmer, Ontario with my grandparents, and my grandpa went to work that day. But he told me that morning he would take the training wheels off for me when he got home. He just didn't have time in the morning. And while he was at work, I bent my training wheels up into the air, you know, so they weren't touching the ground. And I kind of taught myself how to drive a two-wheeler. Eh? I didn't need no help. I didn't really like. I don't know, like I just learned by myself, I think. Like, I remember my dad trying to teach me my last name. <laughs> <laughs> it was like fucking, probably before kindergarten. And my dad would say, uh, I forget how it went. Anyway, he would say like, your name is Eddie what? Like trying to get me to answer what my last name was. And I would repeat him and say, Eddie what? 
And after a while, my dad just kind of gave up because, uh-huh. yeah, I kind of remember that experience. It was hard to remember my own last name. <laughs> I was like four or five, for fuck's sakes. I mean, I knew my last name, but, you know, when somebody's asking you for your last name, you don't know yeah. what the fuck a last name is. Well, that was kind of the <laughs> thing we went through. It's kind of funny to think about it now. I think so. Tell us another story, Donna. Uh, about what? About your mom losing her shit on you. <laughs> um. Come on, I know you got a billion of those. <laughs> oh, I know. Tell, tell everybody about the time when your your mom rolled your vehicle. The truck. The truck, yeah. She was right. This is on the Killarney Highway. The. The. 637, Highway 637. Yeah, she, um, she was, I don't know, for whatever reason, I was home from school. Maybe because, like, the roads were bad, I want to say, because, anyways, she went over the part where there was by the train tracks was, which is not like you're over halfway to Sudbury at that part. And she the reason I asked Dawn to tell you guys this story is because she's told me it a billion times. She might as well tell somebody else. Hey. So she, um, <laughs> she hit some black ice and she fucking rolled. Like, she, like, wasn't like, she just, like, weird, you know, just went off the road. She fucking rolled the fucking truck. And, uh, somebody was going by, luckily, and they picked her up. Come on, it was funnier before when you told me. It doesn't seem funny anymore. Where's all the funny parts? I don't know what your... What funny parts those would be. I thought you had some funny parts. I don't think with that. For fuck's sakes, Donna. That was a funny story. That was boring. What would you think there's something funny in I don't know. I thought you said something funny about it before. Uh, No, I don't. I think you're fucking... I think you're fucking something's wrong in your head. (laughs) (laughs) I think you're like, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I remember when I was Mary one year for the Christmas concert. Mary? Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't want to be Mary, but for whatever reason. Who did you want to be? I just wanted to be somebody in the background. I didn't want to. I didn't like being on stage. I oh. didn't like that. I just want. I I wanted to be even like hold the curtains open and close person. I just didn't want to. Anyways, they picked me to be fucking Mary. Okay, so my mom's fucking. You know, has to make me a fucking how Mary looked like with the veil and all that shit. Okay, and the you didn't tell us story before. No. No. Okay, keep going. Anyways, no, I didn't tell you this story. She, I didn't. Okay. At the end of the <laughs> at the concert, we all. I had to stand in line. I had like to say a couple words, like I don't know why, but whatever the words I had to say. And at the end, we all were to stand on this part of the stage, and we we bow, right? And then the curtains close. But that's the year my grandparents on my dad's side went to the Christmas concert, right? Yeah. And they never really went to these things before. So my mom thought it was a good idea to talk to the teacher and after everybody were to bow on the thing to call my name up and just have me stand there by myself. What? Uh, for the Christmas concert to say my name so my grandparents could just see me on, on the stage. Oh, because they're old. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, and uh, there's a lot of parents and stuff there that year. Like, I think I think everybody's parents made it that year because the gym was, like, packed. And so, like, we all bowed, and I was thinking, like, oh, thank God that's done. And 
all of a sudden they have the, the one light that comes on in the center of the, the stage. <laughs> like, uh, the teacher said, Don't you can you come here? And I went over and I could I could feel my face. I remember still getting so red. And then she's like, uh, uh, she's like, Donna? And then she says my name, like my last name. And she's like, and she played Mary, like Mary, right? She's saying whatever. And, you know, there's, there's my mom nudging my grandma on my dad's side like this, right? So they start clapping and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was not, that was not a good. No, the only time, like I like I was saying earlier, yeah. like the way you described your mom. Yeah. The only time I can remember my dad getting pissed like that is when he tried to teach me my last name. <laughs> my mom, there was that lots, was it. Lot I, that was the most of my childhood was like, I, I, you know, like she would look like she never did. So I'm not. She never did this, but if she could. She looked like she'd always want to try to grab, like, if she could grab you and just fucking shake the shit out of you. <laughs> but she never did. <laughs> probably because she'd know that I'd probably fight back. <laughs> okay. Aw. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about the boring video today. Nothing fucking happened here. Um... It's raining and... Yeah, it rained all fucking day. Gloomy. I don't know about that part, but it's rainy. It's Donna cooked all day. I drank beers. We did a review video earlier. You can go back and check that out if you want. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to do it last night, but we couldn't because... Somebody wouldn't wake up. Ugh. So anything else to talk about? Huh? No. Are you sure? Anything else you want to get off your chest? No. Well, Alright then. I think we're done. I don't know if we're going to have any more videos tonight. I don't think so. <laughs> Donna doesn't think so. So we'll probably be back tomorrow with another boring one for you. Hey. Uh. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all we got. Donna here doesn't seem like she has anything else to talk about. <laughs> I'm fucking thirsty, like, uh... Yeah, she's gonna pound back all this apple juice. You know what I'm gonna hear tonight? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I see we got some new subscribers. Sigurd older to his. Old subscribers. People watching that aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and stick around. We upload something every day, sometimes a few things. We never leave you hanging like a cock, so boop! Hit the button, stick around, watch some videos, get to know us. And yeah. I'm gonna get in my road toke. Donna's gonna get in her final words. Stay happy and stay safe. Why do your farts sound so funny? Hey, <laughs> um, be kind. Just think your Monday is just about over or it is going to be over soon, depending where you live, or maybe it's halfway over, depending where you live also. 
Donna's farts remind me of some of those Canadian channels we watch. First they tell you in English, then they tell you in French. <laughs> she, her fart tells you something in two different languages. Can you, can you stop? Two, two different arse languages. <laughs> Smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Keep smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. I, I, I mean it. Okay. We're going to fuck off out of here. Smoke some more weeds. Drink some more beers. Smoke some more weeds. Look for something else to munch on. Smoke some more weeds. Watch some YouTube videos. And, um... Keep on smoking weeds. So until tomorrow, like, subscribe, and fuck off! Hey!